Thank you very much. That was from when John Mayer was in the cast of Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> Do we just miss a uh, the, the rite of passage that is introducing the band will be very quick, but it, 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 these guys are great to join us, and uh, we're very thankful to have them. Tim Whiting on drums. Tom Wise on bass and vocals. Jay Friedman and Melissa Bainey on vocals. And it's always fun to play with Roy Sheldon. Uh, given that we were encouraged to say a few words about uh, the artist, uh, th this next song is off the John Mayer's album that, that we all heard first was uh, Room for Squares. And I was taken by the fact that there's a cool guitar riff that's hard enough to play, but he sings while he plays it. Fortunately, I get to play the riff where Melissa sings the song, so that's, that, that makes it a lot easier. For musicians and non-musicians, the analogy I have would be to try and type an email while counting backwards from 100 and keeping in, in beat. It's, it's just not easy to do, um, but fortunately we have enough guys up here that we can spread the work and, and hopefully get it done. It's called Why Georgia. <laughs>
All right, this is the aforementioned blues ditty. <laughs> Don't blink. And if you've ever seen Tom driving down Ridgewood Avenue playing a bass and harmonic at the same time, he's the one guy who can do it. <laughs> Turn around, go, go the other way. <laughs> Don't try this at home. This is the time where we, we uh, take a second to thank the organizers, to thank Jeff Keane um, behind the board, Beth Blair for running the tickets, and of course our friend, Mr. Sofka. Um, Jeff was, um, I won't be long, I know we're pressed for time, but uh, uh, Jeff was very accommodating this year. I had a couple of you know, special requests, and uh, he's always very good about accommodating special requests. And then it occurred to me, what, we have 150 or so performers that come through here over the course of a couple of weekends. And I observed to Jeff, I said, Jeff, what, what if everyone had one or more special requests? To which Jeff rolled his eyes and said, Jay, Jay it's season eight. You're just realizing this? <laughs> um, so he, Jeff has agreed to share with me some of his favorite um, special requests that he's gotten from the musicians. Um, so anyhow, uh, oh, here, here's one from uh, Rich Albano. Um, oh no, names. <laughs> hey, hey Jeff, would it be okay if I did a stage dive off one of the museum exhibits during one of my solos? I, I think that one, right over there. Oh, and here's another one. Here's one from everybody's favorite trumpet player, Dana Watson. Hey, Jeff, please stop giving my phone number out. <laughs> oh, and here's a, a, a suggestion for next year's theme. I'm sure you've gotten a lot of those uh, from, uh, from Chuck Benjamin. Um, uh, hey, Jeff, why don't we do polka versions of psychedelic songs from the 1960s? We could call it polka.rock. And, oh, here's one from Larry Pendergast, uh, a theme suggestion for next year. How about an East Side versus West Side rap competition? 
I don't think that would work. I think the east side would totally dominate. Until Larry moves. <laughs> And then, and then there are requests, like, too numerous to, to call out individually, but sort of the, the set order, I'm sure you hear from, uh, we have uh, five requests to go first, uh, ten requests to go last, eight requests not to go first, and six requests not to have to follow Tim Whiting's Queen set, which is coming up shortly. <laughs> Anyhow, thank you, uh, Jeff, uh, for all your work. Uh, we have one more that's, uh, again, a, a mashup of a couple of songs and a couple of uh, social commentary uh, themes, and uh, maybe if you pay attention, there'll be a special guest.
Jay Bainey, Melissa Bainey. Hey Dad, thanks for uh, thanks for raising me on this stuff. Uh, he's he's kind of passed this on to me. Uh, it's one of my favorite artists, and uh, thanks for letting me jam with you. <laughs> J.B. and the crew. J.B. and the crew.